15 year old shot, burn, and rape and still survived? Let's get into it. I have grandchildren. And I know from, I'd, I'd protect them with my whole life. And for somebody to do that to their child, just can't even put it to words or understand. Terrebonne Parish Sheriff Tim Sonier says in April, Latonya Harris and Terence Washington, a 15-year-old girl and another child, had left Louisiana and had a car accident in Baytown, Texas. The sheriff says when Texas authorities arrived at the accident, they found the 15-year-old girl suffering from multiple gunshot wounds and 30% of her body had three to four degree burns. The sheriff says Washington shot the teen twice on two separate days and she was denied medical treatment. He says the burns were inflicted by her own mother. In mid-February 2024, the juvenile female was burned after LaTanya Harris had learned of a sexual assault committed on the juvenile by Terrence Washington. Harris burned the juvenile with flammable liquid in a lighter. The Department of Children and Family Services said the teen sustained gunshot wounds to her chest, left lower cheek area and near her eye. The child lost her left eye due to the gunshot wound to the face. When asked how the abuse went unnoticed, the sheriff said... They were homeschooled. According to the State Department of Education, parents need to get approval from the state to homeschool their kids. If approved, parents have to select and use curriculum to teach their child, as well as determine the child's grade placement. Parents also have to submit home study applications to the State Department for approval. Caught us by surprise like anybody else. DCFS said in April of 2013 there was physical abuse with the mother as the perpetrator concerning the child. The family was referred for outside services. Then in April of 2014 there was another case of physical abuse with the mother as the perpetrator concerning the child. The child was placed in foster care for a short period of time as a result of the April 2014 investigation. The family received in-home services once the child returned home following the removal in April of 2014. According to the Sheriff's Office, the teen remains in hospital. Eleanor Tabone, WWL, Louisiana. So this little girl was shot in the chest. She was shot in the face. She received burns. She was raped. Yet she still survived. If that's not God's plan, I don't know what is. And she is very strong. Because usually these stuff happen to adults and they don't survive. So it's God's will for her to still be here. For the parents, disgusting, terrible people. Lock them away, throw away the keys, never to see daylight again. Let me know what you guys think.